Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. So, I haven't done a whole lot of wine shopping at, at Target in a while, but somebody gave me a gift card, and so the other day I, I just had to roam through that wine section and see what they had to offer. You know, if you've been to Target, uh, you know, more than three or four times shopping for wine, you pretty much get to memorize what's uh, in their section. But um, this is one that I've seen there a while. I've, I've actually seen it at a lot of stores. I've never picked up the layer cake before, so I thought it's it's finally time for me to dive into this. Um, for those of you who've never seen the layer cake before, um, this is from wood, uh, winemaker Jason Woodbridge, um, and he really sources grapes from all over the world. And, and does wines in his own style. I mean, this is definitely like a grocery store uh, uh, type of wine. Got a screw top here. This bad boy was $15 at uh, Target, or if you had a gift card, it was free. Uh, let's check it out. This is the 2011 Layer Cake Shiraz from uh, South Australia. Just a reminder for those that don't know, Shiraz, Syrah, it's the exact same thing. So it's that um, French Rhone uh, grape just done in the Australian style. So let's uh, check this out. It's definitely, I mean, really dark in color here. Super dark ruby red and, and really inky. I can't see anything through it at all. On the nose, I'm getting some ripe, dark berries. I'm thinking blackberry. I'm thinking plum. I'm thinking cassis. Um, there is like a little touch of oak on here. They, they do pride themselves in using 100% French oak. Uh, and I think this one is 40% new French oak. And there definitely is that vanilla type of French oak aspect to, uh, to this nose here. Let's give it a whirl. This is nice. This is uh, enjoyable. I mean, for uh, for a uh, fifteen dollar one, around fifteen dollars, um, it's definitely bringing. Um, it's it's bringing this big ripeness that I think a lot of folks really gravitate towards. Uh, it tastes, you know, it tastes like a, a 15 to $20 wine, um, but it's definitely nice. It's definitely a, a crowd pleaser, just as far as my initial impressions on this. Let me pick out some fruits for you. Again, it's a whole lot of this um, plum and cassis. I'm getting a little bit of like um, a little bit of like a cranberry action. So there are some red fruit notes that are going along with this. There's a really nice acidity to this, um, and and the mouthfeel is nice. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a medium plus uh, on the palate. Uh, you know, the oak itself uh, is is nice. It's not really over the top at, at all. The, the tannins are present. There are some fine tannins there, but, but it is a little bit astringent uh, on the back end. But definitely a wine I would, I, would, I would recommend. And for $15, I'm not really tripping. It's not really uh, blowing the doors off the place. I'm not super excited about this. This is pretty much um, what I expected. And, uh, and if you're buying this bottle expecting... Um, for just some good juice at a fair price. I think that's really what you're gonna get. I'm giving this a 87 points, uh, 87 points. I'm saying go ahead and check it out. Um, it's, uh, it's doing South Australia justice. Uh, so anyways, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, um, whether you've had this layer cake or if you've had any of the others. Tell me your experiences with them. Tell me what you think about it in terms of uh, value for a, for a $15 wine. What do you think about it? Uh, everybody, stay rad.